As a data center manager, you're all about connectivity. So here you go. You've got a server, a switch, and a device. Say, a storage device. Your job is to connect them, right? Easy. A long cord here, another one here, and there you go. Point to point to point. Perfect. Well, maybe not so much. Chances are you've got a lot of servers feeding a bunch more switches that need to control all these devices. Since every new server and storage device must be connected to every existing switch, instead of two long cords, you now need thousands. Spaghetti anyone? Sure, you can use cabling pathways to route the cords, but good luck identifying and accessing the right one. So let's rethink this. What if you installed a communications backbone between the server, switch, and storage devices? Then connected the backbone to your server, switch, and storage areas using a cabling panel. Now when you add more servers, switches, and storage devices, you simply connect them to the cabling panels with a short cable. If the fixed backbones are correctly designed, nothing else is needed. No wonder the TIA specified structured cabling is defining its network cabling standards. While the point-to-point -point approach may seem more logical and have lower material costs, as you grow, it becomes a nightmare to manage. Structured cabling, however, may cost more initially and require more technical skill to deploy, but it pays for itself in the long run. Moves, adds, and changes are faster, meaning time to repair is shorter, and everything is much easier to manage and scale. So you save time, money, and a lot of sleepless nights. Way to go!